Here they come. And they're off in daytime torch. Fires out of the gate and goes for the lead with Charge It to Cooper up on the outside. Charge It to Cooper and daytime torch. Those two lead onto the clubhouse turn. My worthy champ over the rail gets away in third. Up on the outside, that is Countessa in fourth. And then it's Federal Yankee Racing in fifth. On the outside is T. Cody moving up in sixth, followed by Worthy Boys Best Racing in seventh. Come corner lad away in eighth end. Lark Sloop trails the field. They try to round the clubhouse turn and charge it to Cooper. Hands the lead with Daytime Torch racing in second. Along the inside, My Worthy Champ is in third. Count Issa is racing at fourth. T. Cody is uh, fifth, and uh, then it's back to Federal Yankee in sixth. Lark Sloop moving up on the outside seventh. Worthy Boys Best is eighth, and the trailer is Gum Corner Lad. The first quarter in 29 and 1. They're midway up the back stretch, and Charge It to Cooper is coasting on the lead. At the rail, racing second is Daytime Torch. My Worthy Champ driving up on the outside is now racing in third. Count Issa is into the first four. And then up on the outside, T. Cody is racing in fifth, followed by Worthy Boys Best, who completes the top six. Federal Yankee is racing in seventh. Larks Luke is eighth, and Gum Corner Lad still at the back. They race the half in 59-3, and three. and as they move on to the far turn, that's my worthy champ on the outside, challenging Charge It to Cooper for the lead. On the outside, Count Issa is into the action. Along the inside, Daytime Torch needs racing room. T. Cody is only three from the lead, poised to strike from fifth. Down at the reel is Worthy Boys Best in sixth. Federal Yankee Race is seventh. Larks Luke is eighth, and the trailer is Gum Corner Lad. They straighten up into the home stretch, and uh, the three quarters was in 129 and one. From in between horses, My Worthy Champ has the lead, and now T. Cody is guided to the outside for clear racing room. Daytime Torch finds a seam to trot through on the inside. Here comes Daytime Torch to My Worthy Champ. Center of the track, Larks Luke is coming home fast. It's Daytime Torch to the front. Daytime Torch is going to win the Digert in... Uh, Easy fashion by more than two. Daytime Torch in front. My worthy champ second. Larks Luke was third. Number three, Daytime Torch finished first. Number two, My Worthy Champ was second. Number nine, Larks Luke was third. And number six, Worthy Boys Best finished fourth. Time of the mile, 157, four fifths. Now, ladies and gentlemen, moving into the winner's circle is the winner of the Irwin F. Dangard Memorial, number three, Daytime Torch. The seven-year-old gutted son of Blowtorch out of the Sheola Hanover Mare, Arbor Day, owned by Kathleen Terry. Henry Wilson's the winning trainer driver. Returning to the winner's circle is a Daytime Torch.
And ladies and gentlemen in the winner's circle to make the presentation to the winner of the Irwin F. Digert Memorial is Mrs. Digert who has been part of the Hawthorne family since the inception of harness racing here at Hawthorne. Erwin Digert, the founder of Suburban Downs, was the primary force to bring nighttime racing to Chicago. And in the winter circle is Daytime Torch with the trophy presentation being made by Mrs. Digert along with Tom Carey, the president and general manager here at Hawthorne. And now here's the complete order of finish for the eighth race. Federal Yankee was sixth. My Worthy Champ was second. Daytime Torch the winner. Count Issa was fifth. Charger to Cooper was ninth. Worthy Boy's Best was fourth. T. Cody was seventh. Gum Corner Lad was eighth. Lark Sloop was third. Top down is six, two, one, five, nine, four, seven, eight, three on the bottom. One fifty-seven and four is the time of the mile. Ninth race post times in 18 minutes. No changes in the ninth race. And in the tenth race, the second half of the late daily double, number five cannot go on time, will be driven by Dave Miller. Number five cannot go on time. Dave Miller will be the driver. Ninth race post times in 18 minutes. 